sewage treatment plant. Absolutely stinks. <laughs> Not pleasant at all. You can see it? There. I spy a giraffe. the M54 up there. Well, I'm coming up to what the book says, a very narrow cutting, and it advises you to have a good lookout at the front, because I don't think there's many passing places, but when you're by yourself, what do you do? Just go for it, I guess, and uh, hope and pray that there is nothing coming. Oh my God, here we go, fingers crossed. Let's see. Well, this is it. I'm just entering this uh, very narrow cutting. I don't meet anything because I don't know what you do. It's very pretty though. And I've got to say that little uh, <coughs> shade from the sun is quite welcoming today. But I'm not complaining about the weather. No, I'm not. But yeah. Just nice to get a little bit of respite every now and then. It's quite refreshing. Oops. So that's how much I've got on that side. That's that side, so not a lot. There is a passing point just there. I think that's it. Like this is the end of the narrow cutting that I'm just coming to the end of now. So it uh, looks like through this bridge and uh, the canal opens up again to let's call it normal size, whatever normal is. But yeah, pleased to say that I went through all that without touching the sides once and it is narrow. It reminded me of a uh, going through the Hare Castle Tunnel. But obviously, uh, just not in a tunnel, but the width wise, I mean, so yeah. A bit of practice for later next week, so I think we'll be doing Hare Castle then, again. Yeah, we go, back out to Wide Canal again. Here we go, here's the first one to this trip. Shopping trolley in the canal. It's got a quid in it. So at this point I had quite a sharp uh, right hand turn off the Staffs and Worcester Canal onto the Shropshire Union Canal. Um, as I came to it, there was a, it was a, it was a sharp right hand turn and there was a bridge, immediately after the bridge, there was a stop lock. As I was turning into the bridge, a boat's bow came out from the bridge. Uh, they had crew on board, I was obviously single handed. The woman at the front was waving frantically at me, sort of saying, oh, we're coming out, we're coming out, you need to go back. So I reversed back, thankfully it wasn't windy, so I could just sort of hover about. Uh, but they didn't look happy that I was there. But it's one of those things when you're by yourself, when you don't have crew, there's nobody to go ahead and look 
uh, forward and say, oh, there's something coming, or you just need to wait a minute. So I just went. Uh, I'd had, I had blown my horn, uh, but I didn't hear anything back. So off I went. So anyway, off there went. I went through the bridge into the stop lock, uh, which somebody did for me, so I didn't have to get off my boat, and then carried on my journey on the Shropshire Union. Beautiful view across there, but it's just a shame about this noise. The M54. So I'm now on the Shropshire Union Canal. Um, I just tried to moor up and I, I think I got stuck on what is lovingly known as the Shroppy Shelf. So I've had to carry on again. Hopefully oh, I'll be somewhere soon to stop. Get away from that lot. Well, I've got moored up for the night and uh, eventually <coughs> got onto the Shroppy and uh, struggled because of this Shroppy Shelf. So I was coming along and I thought, oh, never gonna get moored here. Anyway, I came through a bridge and there was a boat moored up. Oh, I'll go near that, I thought. Must be on pins, so I got the pins out, hammered them in, got the boat in only just, but felt as though I was on the shelf a little bit, a bit scrapey, I thought, I don't like this. As I'm doing that, a higher boat comes past me. Comes past me, pulls straight in, Next thing I can hear them rattling. Well, they're not, they're not pins they're hammering in. I oh, know they're using the uh, nappy pins, the Wazamco. So I walked up and if I'd have gone another hundred yards further, there's all this Armco. But so I finally, I moved, I'm here. But I don't know if you can tell, but the back end is still stuck out a bit. I must be, I must be deeper draft than the other two that's there. I'm just going to spin you round and show you the view. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? And it is, time-wise, half past seven. So I need to decide what I'm going to do for my tea because I've got nothing sorted. See if I've got any signal on the TV. Might watch a bit of TV. Shower and uh, early night, I think. Well, early-ish. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. Uh, but yeah, been a brilliant day weather-wise and cruising-wise. I've had a real nice cruise, to be fair. I stopped this afternoon for a bit of lunch. Thought I out doing what I did yesterday and just kept going. And then I was starving come the evening. I stopped and tied up and had a sandwich. Yeah, but yeah, I'm just gonna spin it around one more time and show you this view. Now, isn't that just beautiful? See the shadow of me? Ooh. So there's me. As you can see, if I go a bit further up, the back end is stuck out a bit, but I can't get in any further. Yeah, so this is where I am for tonight. Let's hope tomorrow is just as good.
coming up. See the uh, balustrading at the top. Very nice. I'll have a look in a minute and see what it's called because they've all got a name. You, well, usually they have a name. But once I get through here, then I'll maybe have to look in the book. So that was Avenue Bridge, just looked in the book. So yeah, just in the background there. As you can see again, what a beautiful day. Loving this. The sun can stay for me. So, slept like a log last night. But when I went to bed last night, the boat was absolutely full of tiny, tiny little like white flies buzzing everywhere around me. I actually had to leave a light on at the front because they were just swarming around the light and I thought as soon as I turn the light off they're going to follow me. So I left this light on and when I got up this morning the first job I had to do was vacuum the carpet. I kid you not the carpet is sort of brown carpet tiles in the boat but it was white with all these must have been millions millions of dead flies all over the place. And what also woke me up was, was, I think I was near a farm or something, and there was farm factory, uh, factory, farm machinery going. Well, one of them just sounded like a child playing a recorder very badly. I thought it was, when I was laid in bed, I thought, oh God, I wish that child had got to school and take that recorder with them. Well, it just carried on and carried on, and it was actually um, farm machinery and it's stunk. So I've left I left there and I'm heading to just on my way to I think it's Brood that I'm coming up to. It's sort of spelt Breewood but I think it's pronounced Brood. So let's see what it's like there. I need to stop really and get some groceries. I'm out of milk and I could do with another few more bits and bobs so I'll hopefully find somewhere to stop there and do a bit of stocking up. Well that's better. <laughs> All a bit overexposed, I think. Right, speak to you in a bit, guys. I'll take it that must be a uh, brood church just coming into show there. So, uh, let's see if I can find a decent mooring and uh, find some shops. Yeah, so got a mooring, and I'm just on the way now to try and get some a few groceries. I think I'm going the right way, I don't really know. There's the church again, look. But yeah, walking down this little, little lane. Sat nav took me this way, so let's hope it's right. If not, I guess I'm having a nice walk, which is, all good. Get rid of a bit of this. Right, somebody's coming. I'm off. Well, this is a nice little place. Brood. Very pretty. Nice cottages. Church again. I feel like I'm going around in a circle actually. But what's as long as I get to a shop.
nice church. Look how blue the sky is today. Wow. God, I'm unfit. Need to sort this out. So there's my shop, Co-op Pack and See. Yeah, lovely little town, village, I mean. The Lion Hotel. That's where I am, guys. <clears throat> Cheers. And anybody who knows me will know that I've been on a no drinking uh, regime for the past two months. But I am absolutely melting. So, I'm at Brood. I thought I'd pass this pub, looks quite nice. Thought I'll have a quick pint, get some groceries, go back to the boat, and I think I know what'll happen. I'll probably have a little, I'll probably have a little kip after a pint. We'll say, but yeah, lovely, absolutely glorious. The canal is just do, 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 down there, I don't know if you can see it. So, cheers, here's to me and my new boat. Cheers, guys. Well, I've got my shop in, um, but a bit on a bit disorganized because. Obviously, when I got on the boat on Friday, I had bloody uh, loads of carrier bags. And I thought, oh, I won't want them. I'll put them back in my car. Oh, idiot. So now I've just had to buy a load of carrier bags. Now I know when my mother watches this, she'll be like, Philip, you're not very organised. But I know, Mum, I know. But I'll get there. But yep, heading back now. Yeah, heading back and uh, unpack this lot, have a bite to eat, and then set off again. Glorious day. I took my uh, shopping back to the boat, uh, put a light in the fridge and what have you, and then decided to come back to the pub and have another drink, and no, I'm not having beer, Coke, and I've ordered some lunch. So I'm just waiting for that to come. Uh, the uh, fudge bowl is down on the cut, so I've got myself a box of fudge as well. But he's going to hold it until I, uh, I said uh, I said I was going to take it back to my boat, and he was like, "Well, I'll hold it till you come back from the pub." I said I was coming here for lunch, so yeah, picked that up on the way back. So yeah, I'm just waiting for my lunch. So this is my lunch. I know, not very healthy, but and then I'm complaining about all this weight. But I'm hungry. So, I'll enjoy it, I'm sure. 